the transfer portal, either the gift that keeps giving or the thorn in your side. But we need to talk about some big moves that teams have made getting players out of the transfer portal that look to be big additions to their respective squads. Today, in particular, we're going to focus on Casey Thompson going from Texas to Nebraska and Brandon Joseph transferring from Northwestern to Notre Dame in a move that I think may fly under the radar. But before we do, as always, y'all know the drill. I want to hear from you. Hop down to the comments. Give me a Y for yes, N for no. Are you excited about how your squad has utilized the transfer portal thus far? And let me know your favorite addition. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. I do constant college football content. You don't want to miss any of it. And if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and comment down below. Those interactions are massive to content creators such as myself and both getting picked up and maintained by the YouTube algorithm. But with all of that being said, we will start with the quarterback, Casey Thompson, announcing just a few days ago that he intended to transfer from the University of Texas. Now we know that he is going to Nebraska. And this is a major win for Scott Frost. Because Scott Frost was in a position where Adrian Martinez had entered the transfer portal going from Nebraska to Kansas State, and that put Scott Frost in a bit of a precarious situation, and he was already in a tough situation. Things have not gone according to plan thus far for the Nebraska Cornhuskers under Scott Frost. And so whenever Adrian Martinez exited, he was in a position where he needed a quarterback that not only did he have faith in, but had experience. And that's exactly what he can get in Casey Thompson. Casey Thompson for the Texas Longhorns last year played in some big games and put up some big numbers. And yes, Texas's record wasn't at all what they would like it to be, but Texas had a multitude of problems last year, whether it be from the offensive line to the defense they just never really had any real identity. Now, Steve Sarkeesian and company look to turn that around, and it is going to take time, and that's why I think the Texas Longhorns are such an interesting case right now, because I can't wait to see if Sark and company can actually turn it around. But last year, putting the blame on Casey Thompson is just not true, and it's not according to fact. Texas had a multitude of problems, and sure, it's hard for a quarterback to do anything spectacular when you have offensive line woes to the extent that the Texas Longhorns had. But now Casey Thompson gets out of that situation with Texas getting in Quinn Ewers, who looks to be the future, but the job must be won. It will not be given. Now Casey Thompson is in a situation where he has now found a new home under Scott Frost, and Nebraska is in win-now mode because they have to be in win-now mode. And I'm not meaning college football playoffs. I'm just meaning you have got to play quality football for the onset of your entire schedule, and that's when we can start to see things turning around. Nebraska had a good defense this past season. It's going to be interesting to see how that carries over and how Casey Thompson can affect this whole Nebraska situation for Scott Frost because Casey has everything Scott Frost would like. He's a mobile guy, even though he didn't really display his mobility under Steve Sarkeesian this past year, and he's got a big arm. So I'm very interested to see how that works out for Casey Thompson and for Scott Frost because if things go right, it's going to be a storybook ending for them both. On the other side of the coin, though, we need to talk about defense in a major move that I think is going to fly under the radar, and that is Brandon Joseph transferring from Northwestern to Notre Dame, Marcus Freeman getting himself a major victory in the same season where star safety Kyle Hamilton has announced his intent to go to the NFL draft, and he's going to be one of the top playmakers off the board. Kyle Hamilton is a really solid safety, and it's never easy to replace a guy such as he. But whenever you can get in a transfer such as Brandon Joseph, that certainly helps. Because one of the things I've talked about at length with the transfer portal, but I'm going to do so again here, is the ability to get in a guy that you know has made that transition from high school to college. Not only has made the transition, but has done so at a high level. Because over the past two seasons, Brandon Joseph has accounted for nine interceptions for that Northwestern defense, and that's something that Notre Dame fans and the coaching staff are going to be over the moon to add into their system. This is a big win for Marcus Freeman, because I can imagine multiple institutions were after Brandon Joseph because of the upside he has. You know Northwestern hates losing a player of his caliber, and Notre Dame has got to be ecstatic that they get in a player of his caliber. Whenever you can get in a guy that has that sort of experience, you don't argue with it. And especially that's doubled down when, when we look, 24-7 Sports put out a report not too long ago highlighting some of the top 
prospects in the transfer portal, and it was very well done. But Brandon Joseph found his name on number five on that list. So he's a very well thought of individual to begin with. This is a move that I think should garner a ton of attention because of the type of player he is and what this means for Marcus Freeman, because this is a major, major win for Freeman to go in with a recruiting class that is pretty solid. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Marcus Freeman can go from here in his first full season as Notre Dame's head coach. But with that, I'm very interested in y'all's opinion on everything. Let me know what you think about the transfer portal in general. Let me know about your team's move in the transfer portal. And absolutely, let me know about the two moves we talked about today. That's it. See you.